Welcome again, ladies and gentlemen, to Rogue Economics. This is lesson number 12. I'm your rogue economist, Sanford Khan, otherwise known as a business author and also a business speaker. The title of this presentation is The Al Capone Law of Economics. Basically, the Al Capone Law of Economics states that if there is the demand for a product or service, especially sufficient demand for a product or service, it will always be met at a certain price level, the, no matter if that product or service is legal or illegal, <clears throat> it will always be met. Al Capone proved that in the 1930s with liquor. There was a prohibition on the sale of liquor to the public in the 1930s until that constitutional amendment was revoked. Al Capone met it. A lot of times it was through violent means with other gangs, I agree. But he proved the point that if there's a demand for a product or service, both legal and illegal, the market will always move to satisfy that demand. So no matter what governments do, any government, no matter what they do, if there's demand from whether they're trying to outlaw, it will always be met. Always be met. This is neither right nor wrong. I'm just saying this is how it works throughout history. The markets always move to satisfy the demand. That's the economic law of Al Capone. He proved it. But politicians, being politicians, they feel they have the power to, the power to outlaw certain products or services. Fine. But if there is a demand for that product or service, a sufficient demand, it will always be met by someone. Always be met someone by someone at a certain price level. That's the law, economic law of Al Capone. Anyways, appreciate it if you could pass this video on to other people. And you know, there's a little button down there that I think it's called subscribe. I appreciate if you could subscribe to this channel. Appreciate it very much. Until we meet again, may you prosper and stay healthy. Bye now, friends.